So I'm here in Anaheim with Angels player and nine-time consecutive Golden Glove winner, Tori Hunter. Tori, tell us why you're here. Uh, we're here for the, uh, the Pepsi uh, Max Challenge. Uh, um, fans get a chance to, to vote for their favorite uh, uh, all-time team. Uh, you get 11, 11 players you can you can vote for, and uh, um, and you're gonna have a chance to play against those guys. And and if you get submitted in, in September, they're gonna submit the fans. If you get submitted in September, you get a chance to play the the all-time uh, Pepsi Field of Dreams team of all-time players, and uh, you get a chance to play them in your hometown. So uh, you get to pick you know 10 of your your friends to play against these legends. So I think it's gonna be pretty cool. If you want to know more about it, you go to MLB.com slash Pepsi Max. That would be an amazing experience for anyone. Tell me, why did you decide to get involved in this one? Uh, well, I, I thought it's a, it's a good challenge. You know, it, uh, it's a, a way to get the fans involved. And uh, uh, Pepsi's been, been doing great things uh, with, with baseball fans for, for a long time. And, and MLB and Pepsi would come together and get the fans together to do something great like this. I always want to be a part of it. Let's talk a little about your favorite Hall of Famers. Have you seen the list? Who would you pick out? Uh, I saw the list. I have the list right here. I actually, uh, for my starting, my starting pitcher would be Randy Johnson. Definitely Randy Johnson. He's 6'11". You know, when he lets go the ball, he slaps you in the face. He's pretty tough. Uh, we'll go with Raleigh Fingers as my relief pitcher. Catcher Johnny Bench. First baseman would be Eddie Murray. Second baseman would be Rod Carew, one of my favorite players and good personal friend. Third baseman would be Mike Smith because I need the home runs at third base. Uh, shortstop would be Barry Lockett. Uh, I like Ozzie Smith, but Barry Lockett, you know, I know him, and he's uh, pretty athletic over there, and he can hit. And my favorite outfielder of all time is Ken Griffey Jr., 600-plus uh, 600 home, 600 home runs. Uh, the guy has all kinds of gold gloves, 10 gold gloves. And my designated hitter would be uh, Edgar Martinez. I mean, he made me run a lot when I was younger in center field, and I lost a lot of weight, so I have to pick him. So if you were going to go out there with one player, past or present, maybe even not on the list, who would it be? Ken Griffey Jr., my favorite of all time. Excellent. <laughs> and tell me, there's a little bit of bad news uh, yesterday concerning Jared Weaver. Do you guys think you can still still do well without him? Uh, well, you, you know, one thing about starting pitchers is that they have four or five days off anyway. You know, so uh, he's going to miss six games, but he's only going to miss one start, meaning that he can start right after that sixth game. And uh, so it's just a little time he needs. He get two days of extra rest. But he, as a player, if we miss six games, it's, it hurts. You know, as a starting pitcher, we, we hate that we're going to miss his start, but we're going to see him two days after that. Okay, and finally, I know you're involved with a lot of charity work and you've won awards for it. So what have you got going on at the moment? Um, well, I still have the, the Tory Hunter project. You can go and, uh, and look at ToryHunter.com and, and find, find out some of the things that we have going on uh, um, uh, right now or either in the future. So uh, uh, the Tory Hunter project is still, still at bay and we're still doing good, great things. Excellent. Thanks, Tory.